Hello, test takers. Welcome back to Exam Prep Solutions. And today I'll be going over a couple of problems that we have for the FE exam. These are a couple of conceptual materials problems. And uh, these are the kind of style of question that you will see on the FE exam, and, and especially in terms of conceptual uh, problems, because not everything is about finding an equation and then typing it out on a calculator. We do need to understand some of the conceptual background of these different topics here. We have a free guide called How to Solve Any FE Exam Problem in Five Steps. You can find that guide in the description box down below. Just tell us where to send it. Anyways, we've got two conceptual questions here. Go ahead, try and solve these on your own. I know I have some excerpts on the right, which this excerpt you probably would not be given on the FE exam, but I just wanted to bring it up to give context to the answer. Um, some of the conceptual problems on the FE exam you're just kind of going to know it or you won't know it. And that's sort of the thing with the test is with the conceptual problems, right? Either you learned it in college or you didn't. But I still want to educate you on if you don't know uh, what the answer would be. So hopefully if you encountered that topic, you'd be fine. And this is an excerpt from the FE handbook, which they will ask you conceptual problems where it doesn't seem like maybe you could use the FE handbook. But then if you scour the information, potentially you could find the answer there. So the first one is type four Portland con or Portland cement, excuse me, is classified as uh, high strength, rapid forming, chemical resistant, or low heat. And so we have to determine which one of these is correct. Now, if you know the answer right off the bat, that's great. But then if you don't know the answer, how could you solve this without this excerpt on the right over here? Well, we know it could potentially be high strength, rapid forming. That's also possible, low heat, but chemical resistant. That one doesn't make sense. So now we're narrowed down to about three questions here. And we know type four is not generally not one of the more rapid forming ones. So you can narrow it down between maybe a couple answers and then take an educated guess. We know it's low heat. And so I have an excerpt here um, from ASDM. And so five types of Portland cement are standardized in the United States by the American Society for Testing Materials, ASDM. We've got the ordinary type one, the modified type two, uh, high early strength type three, and then low heat type four, and sulfate resistance type five. And so we know type four is going to be low heat. And so that would be the answer for this one. We know it can be rapid forming because that's type three, which is called rapid hardening. And type five um, is known as Ferrari cement. And that's just a different uh, subset of that. So like I said, we kind of narrow it down to two. We know the correct answer uh, to be D. Now, if we move on to the second problem here, we have what is the primary factor affecting concrete strength? We have four facets here, unit weight, water to cement ratio, density, and failure load point. And so you could find this excerpt in the FE manual. And the answer is pretty obvious, but let's say we didn't even have that excerpt. How would we maybe solve this one? Well, failure load point, that just sounds like a word salad. It doesn't really make, make a whole lot of sense. So we could get rid of D. Um, these uh, could be potential answers. Uh, A and C are somewhat related. Uniweight could possibly be the answer. So I think come down to A and B. But we know from this excerpt here from the FE handbook and materials section, wire to cement ratio is the primary factor, factor affecting the strength of concrete and they have a graph here right think about it the more and more water in the mixture uh, the weaker it's going to be because less of it is going to contain that aggregate so while unit weight yes does play a factor water to cement ratio is going to play the greatest factors so the answer would be b in that case so let me know if you have any questions about those problems or if there's any problems you'd like me to solve on the channel just leave a recommendation in a comment down below and we'll see you guys next time